Angela, and welcome to the Art Center. Welcome to the Family Festival Norway. Thank you so much for coming out this afternoon. Um, just some housekeeping real quick. Please take the time now to silence your cell phones. Please refrain from using them because the glow is really distracting to all of you and to the dancers as well. I want to uh, thank um, Marge Giesen specifically. She's the president of the Sons of Norway Lodge here. Thanks to all the Sons of Norway, all the volunteers who are made this possible. I could not have done any of this without them. So um, I also do want to thank Lakeland College, Alliant Energy for helping make this possible. And I wanted to let you know that our next family festival will be January 18th. We'll be celebrating the culture of Thailand. So make sure you come back for that. Um, I also want to quick uh, Sons of Norway, Schwartz Fish Company, Harry's Diner, and Festival Foods. And now I'd like to bring out Stacy. Um, she's going to tell you a little bit more about the Stoughton Norwegian Dance. Thank you. One, two, three empty seats down here. If anybody in the back wants to come and fill in these single seats, you're more than welcome to. Um, my name is Stacy Heimsoth. I'm the director of the Stoughton High School Norwegian Dancers. And we are a school group that has been in existence for over 60 years, started in 1953. These are sophomores, juniors, and seniors at our high school. We practice every morning at 5 minutes to 7 until 7.40, so they have time to shower and get to class on time. Um, we can't practice after school because most of these students are also athletes, and so after school they have their athletic performance. So they are very busy kids into lots of things, um, and uh, in order to be into this group, they have to have great recommendations, a good grade point average, and be you know, kids of good, good character. So I think you're in for a real treat. Um, we will be performing now and then also again at 2 o'clock, and we'll do mostly different dances at 2 o'clock, so if you want to come back or spread the news to have other people uh, come and see us at 2 o'clock, that would be great. So without further ado, let's welcome the Stoughton High School Norwegian Dancers. that we do. We are the Norwegian dancers, but we do dances from all of Scandinavia, mostly though from Norway and Sweden. In Little Man, you're going to see uh, two groups of four dancers. The guys will be in the middle and with one girl on each side. The girls are going to drape their arms across the guys' shoulders and link hands, and as they walk around, the girls' feet will lift up off the floor and they'll fly through the air. They're going to do this three times. On the second time, they will be going up and down using a dipping maneuver. Um, if you notice, they are all wearing bunads, and these are all from Norway. So they are um, brought over from Norway, and we have a seamstress in Stoughton who puts them all together for us. So they are, um, as you know, they're authentic, and if you've ever priced a bunad, you know they're very costly. Each of the girls' bunads is anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000 apiece. Little man.
go. Ottoman is a very fast-paced dance, and this is the only dance where we have eight couples on the floor in a square, but instead of two small squares, we're going to be in one large square. And they're going to be doing a lot of what we call the buzz step, and you will notice that they will have their feet together, and uh, they will be spinning quite quickly uh, as they go around. And then at the end, you will enjoy a surprising lift as the guys lift the girls up onto their arms. Ottoman Engel. <laughs> tobacco into the noses because they thought that sneezing was a very healthy thing to do. And so sniffing the snooze would make them sneeze. And so in snooze dance, you are going to see these young people together on a Friday evening and they're having a really nice time. They're getting along well. The guys and girls are starting to flirt with each other. Everything's going just great until the guys decide it's time to sniff some snooze, which then course makes them sneeze all over the girls. So let's see what happens in snoo stance. <laughs>
Africa. This is a Norwegian circle dance. And in Parisia, you are going to see them spinning a lot. You will see them spinning with their partner together and also at times by themselves as individuals. I think the girls spin upwards of 34 times in this dance. So certainly enough to make probably all of us dizzy, but these young people, they do a fantastic job with all the spinning. Parisier Polka. <laughs> and put it into dance form. So you will see the actual parts of weaving. You're going to see them out searching for the sheep, gathering up the sheep, shearing the sheep, the threading of the weaving loom, the shuttles of the loom moving back and forth. And then you will see them winding the cloth and unwinding the cloth. And at the end, they will be testing the cloth to see if it's of good quality. Norwegian weaving.
Norwegian dance uh, that comes from the mining town of Røros in Trøndelag. And sex in Norwegian means six and tour means trip. So we literally have a trip for six. And so you will see us starting out with six couples. And it has, if you notice in the music, sort of a Russian influence. Uh, Roros is in pretty much the middle part of Norway where the country just starts to get skinny as it goes north. But you can hear a little bit of a Russian influence even at that uh, level of in the, in the country. It's not way far north, but um, just listen for that. Sex tour. <laughs> each other in accent dance. You're going to see them staring each other down, pulling each other's hair, making faces at each other, punching each other, and even slapping each other. But the best part is the ending. Accent dance. <laughs>
draw your attention to our keyboardists right now. We are very fortunate to have three very talented ladies playing for us today. Lindsay, Mara, and Kristen. They have learned over 40 songs and play for us every morning when we practice as well as every performance. Let's give them a big round of applause. We're going to continue with Scandinavian Square. They're going to be out here in two squares, and you're going to notice that a lot of our American square dances actually got the moves from some of the Scandinavian square dances. Again, in Scandinavian square, you're going to see some of the buzz step, like you did in um, an earlier dance. And you will also be treated to a lift with the ladies at the end of the dance. Scandinavian square. Norwegian dance. Many European countries have a Rhinelander dance, but they all differ just a little bit from each other. In Rhinelander, the really wonderful thing about this is that there's so many different sections to this dance, but they all just flow seamlessly into the next. And at the end, watch for a very difficult straight arm lift that the guys are going to do with the ladies. They will be essentially lifting their partners with one hand. Rhinelander. Thank you. 
I'm Cassidy, and I like to be a Norwegian dancer because I like to represent my hometown. It's a great experience. So, yeah. Hi, my name is Rena, and I like being a Norwegian dancer because of everyone that I affect, and I get to see a lot of smiling children laughing and um, enjoying our performance, and I think that's the best part of it. Hi, I'm Patrick Riley. I like to dance because I like the group of people I'm dancing with, and it's brings a smile on everyone's face. Hi, I'm Isaac Eichster. Um, the reason why I joined dancing is because uh, my grandpa was one of the first dancers and I just thought I should carry the tradition and a few of my cousins are on it and it's really fun. Hi, I'm Isaac Landers and I joined Norwegian Dancers because it's a great experience and it's a huge tradition in Stone, Wisconsin. Hi, my name's Connor and I joined Norwegian Dancers because I like being a part of the close-knit group. Um, well, we practice every morning uh, from about 7 o'clock to 7.45, and it does get very tiring sometimes, but, you know, I mean, it's a lot of fun at the same time. Uh, have, have any of you been uh, injury? Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. some of our guys get a little beat up with the, um, the tricks that they do during the hulling, but overall we're pretty healthy kids, so yeah. we bounce back from it pretty quick. Um, well, we traveled last year to Arizona, and that was a lot of fun. And so one of the best things about our tours is that we get really close together. Um, we really bond. But as far as traveling, it's a really cool experience because, for me, I had never been to Arizona before, so it was a cool way to experience Arizona but also bring our culture. And um, as far as going to Norway next year, that will be really exciting for a group. Like Isaac? Yeah? No? <laughs> Um, but yeah, it'll be really cool for our group to be able to do that. Now when you're practicing every day, you're not practicing in these costumes. Um, is that no. You're actually performing? Um, yeah, a little bit. It adds a little bit of weight. Um, the guys can talk a little bit about how girls get heavier when they're wearing wool, so yeah. <laughs> lifting us is a little bit tougher. Yeah, and especially... Last year we went to Arizona. We wore hot wool boonons. These are all, like, wool so when we wore them we got really sweaty and hot <laughs> so yeah that's one thing about our group we're really close because we're all sweating on each other the whole time <laughs> but it's an another bonus to the dancer group <laughs> now, now a question for the guys when, when you're doing that dance where you're it's like you're fighting are you sometimes it's hard to pull the punches or uh, want to fight? <laughs> uh sometimes depending on uh how the week was beforehand, you might want to punch a guy, but otherwise we're, we're pretty friendly and it's usually fake punches. The slaps, the slaps get intense if, you, if you've had a bad day the day before and you maybe just want to take it out on somebody, the person closest to you is probably the best option. <laughs> Um, the best part about Norwegian dancing is being able to make everybody in the room smile. It's between our acting or our tricks or our um, lifting us in the air. It, no matter who you are, from little toddlers to senior citizens, they love it, and it's fun to make them smile. And add, to add to that, um, just the group of people, like people have said before, it's just you become so close with the people, and it's the best experience you could ever get. I mean... I don't think, Cassie and I knew each other beforehand, but we never would have been as good of friends as we are yeah, without yeah. dancers. Yeah, it definitely, this has definitely been the biggest, the best part of my senior year. My whole high school career, this is the best part of it. So I'm so happy that I joined dancers. Yeah. <laughs>
Angleska. This is a fun Finnish dance, and you're going to notice they, they will start in two lines. There'll be a guy's line and a girl's line. And the guys will be waving the girls over to their side, and the girls will be responding by blowing the guys' kisses. And then they'll do a weaving pattern with their lines. And then towards the end, they're going to take their two lines and form two circles. And at the end, they will take those two circles and mesh them into one. And watch the footwork pattern. It's a little unusual in Kokar. They'll be doing a heel-toe-toe -toe pattern. Kokar and Galeska. straight at each other, one of the couples is going to need to give way. Um, and if we don't, hmm, let's hope we don't have a crash. Um, and a little bit later in the dance, you're going to notice they go into the middle and uh, form a, a group of four where the girls will again fly through the air. Linden Polska. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
York dance. We're going to show you a dance that is for our gentlemen only, and they will be using swords, but fortunately they have handles on both ends. And they will be uh, doing several different figures, and at three different points they will be putting their swords together to form a five-pointed star. And the swords are not magnetized, so they need to fit them together just right so that they don't fall. So we hope that they can make this five-pointed star for you. And watch for one point. There's a little bit of a humor thrown in, so watch for that. And then at the end, they'll be doing a uh, weaving pattern, a figure eight pattern, where they make just a big mess with their swords, and then they come out of it in sword dance. to have Legion dance. So a little contrast to the sword dance that you just saw. The ladies are going to be showing off their bunads for you. And our bunads are the authentic Norwegian costume. They come all from Norway and we have a seamstress who's been trained to know how to sew the bunads together. She lives in Stoughton and she does our, uh, the assembly of the bunads for you. Each bunad comes from a different district in Norway. And uh, so they, eat, they represent a person's home area. So if you were in Norway, you would have the bunad that represents the district that your family comes from. For monodons.
Ryska Polska. <laughs> showing you the Hallingkast, and translated into English means hat kick. One of our young ladies standing on a chair holding out a cane with a hat on the end, and our young men are going to try to kick that hat off the end of the cane. If they're successful, please clap for them. They would appreciate it. It takes a lot of practice, and it's really difficult to do. Um, if they're not successful, they'll probably hang their heads in their hats in embarrassment. Um, normally, we do this as part of our bigger hulling dance, um, and I encourage you to try to come to Stoughton sometime where you could see a full performance. We have our really large performance on February 9th. It's a Sunday at 1.30 in the afternoon at our Stoughton High School. It's our Norris afternoon of fun. It's a big event in Stoughton, and we put on um, a much larger performance. A lot of our dances have gymnastic stunts in them, which um, obviously due to the size limitations today we can't do here. Um, our dancers know 46 dances. So when we perform, the chances are that you're going to be seeing different dances. Um, so we encourage you to come to Stoughton sometime and see them. And of course, we uh, in Stoughton, we celebrate Sitinamai very well, the second largest celebration in the world, I think it is. And uh, we celebrate Friday and Saturday and Sunday of the weekend that's closest to Sitinamai, which is May 17th, which is Nor Norway's Independence Day. So we will conclude our performance today with the Hallingkast.
Thank you.